Louis X, Vanessa Riser. Did you see this? I did, yes. Okay, so Louis X, Van Vanessa Riser, has actually filed a restraining order against him because she's claiming right now at this point in time that Louis, even though he's in a relationship with Teresa and he's moved on, he's married and she's moved on and she's with a guy that she really loves, that Louis is still having her followed. She's claiming that she is a therapist, um, a narcissistic therapist, which is really actually so ironic that you right. are a therapist for people who are dealing with narcissists. Right. I don't know how the this one got passed to you, girl. And I don't even know if I would go to you now knowing what I know. But my point is, is there was a woman who was going to see her. And every time she would go see her, she used a fake name and she would talk to Vanessa and she would ask her like, so what happened with your marriage? Was he abusive? Do you miss him? Would you get married to him again? If he left his wife for you, would you go back with him? Asking all of these questions. And she was like, well, that's kind of odd. But then eventually she ended up finding out that the woman was not who she said she was. And she actually works for Bo Deedle. Yikes. You can't make this up, right? It feels like every week there's something new. Okay, unrelated. I know this is off topic, but I love his outfit in that photo. <laughs> and that photo with Teresa. This photo? I, yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but no, it seems so wild, Adam. Like every single week, it feels like there's something new that comes out about this guy. And like, it's getting just concerning. And I know I've kind of said this like a lot, like no, in my opinion, I don't really think anyone wants Teresa like to be unhappy. No one should ever wish unhappiness on somebody. Like that's just not right. We all want to see Teresa happy after everything that she's gone through. We want to see a man really take care of her. And it definitely seems like he's doing that with her. And she seems super happy. If you see her kids' TikToks with him, they seem like they're having the best time with Louie. And that's all awesome. But at the same time, when all these different stories keep coming out every single week and there's restraining orders and private investigators and like, this is like some crazy stuff. This is not just like, oh, he had a bad relationship in the past or something. I mean, we are getting into like criminal activity. I mean, this is like wild. Um, so it, it's so hard to put all, put all the pieces together only knowing just a tidbit of information. I just really hope, you know, it feels like there's so many red flags at this point. I just don't even know what to say at this point. I just really hope Louis doesn't do anything crazy. Like that's all I can hope for, you know? Uh, you're muted, or I think maybe or is it me because I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Okay. I said, honestly, I feel like at this point with him, I think that there are so many red flags and that things are going to continue to keep coming out, especially with Frank Jr. coming forward and saying what happened with the business. There are so many red flags, but we're going to get back to that in a minute. Um, I also wanted to point out the fact that Andy Cohen is calling out Jennifer Aiden's hypocrisy when she's making fun of Rachel Fuda's nose job. And <laughs> How the hell do you make fun of somebody's nose job and then reach out to their doctor to fix your very own same nose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, not only that, Adam, I don't know about you, but I think it's I mean, I don't think I'm saying anything out of turn here, but it definitely seems obvious to me that Andy does not like Jennifer Aiden. I don't know if anybody in the comment section would agree with this. I also want to say maybe she said that once, like in an interview that she knows that she's not Andy's favorite or something like that. I could be wrong. But I thought I read that somewhere and I thought it was even more obvious last night. The way he was talking over her, the way that like they were not really going anywhere when she was trying to tell her side of the story and stuff. Like I thought it was kind of obvious that Andy wasn't fully here for Jennifer. Like I'm not trying to come up with anything crazy. This is just my observation. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the whole Rachel and Jennifer feud, I think that feud is also very silly. Um, I will say, I think Rachel is actually doing a phenomenal job at this reunion, to be honest with you. She barely has raised her voice. She's done a great job of like having her composure and going toe to toe with any woman that's tried her so far. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, a nose job feud, like, give me a break. <laughs> yeah, no. And also when Rachel announced that she did end up moving forward and she ad officially adopted Jaden, but she came out with this whole allegation that his biological mother was because mind you, she's in prison. Right. The first interview that she ever did was with the U.S. Sun. And she's saying that the reason that she did interviews was because Louis found her, contacted her, tracked her down, and gave her a platform. However, my question is, because we still have not seen her husband come out, when Andy said, how do you know that? She was like, well, he said at the finale that he hired a P.I., 
So I'm like, is that the only reason you know that? Or do you actually have concrete evidence like Margaret Joseph's with the call log that he was the reason that your ex or your now son's mother, biological mother, was contacted? Like, what merit do you have to stand behind that allegation? Right. And I think she also said that someone she knows very close to her also told her that he was the person who contacted her or something like that, which work but at the same time like i don't think that's enough like i don't know like plus i also i mean i don't know it seems like louis has obviously done some questionable things but i'm also curious why louis would even want to do that to be honest with you i don't even think Teresa and rachel really had any problems the whole season i don't think they were besties like i don't think they really vibed or like got along but i don't think they necessarily like feuded or had any problems so i don't even know why louis would go after rachel yeah. and her husband but it seems like maybe he just got information on everybody, but I don't know. I would hope to think it's a stretch. Why Louie would go, I think we're going to get more information next week. I think we saw it in the teaser that Rachel's husband was like, I don't understand why my son's mother was contacted. You know, why is that even a conversation? So I think we'll probably get more information on that next week because that really doesn't add up. Even when Louie's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, you do. I was like, oh, well, he's saying that with a little bit of conviction. So maybe... I mean, you never know. But Teresa also called out Melissa saying when they were in Ireland that she wanted to drunk text her ex. And that was a comment that came up. And Melissa was obviously like, this was a comment. First of all, if I wanted to drunk text my ex, I'm not going to say it in front of you. So this was a comment that was in passing. It was a joke. It wasn't that big of a deal. But I look at it from two different perspectives. I look at it like one, Melissa, you should have known better because, you know, her ass does not like you. She does not like you. So anything that you say can and will be used against you in the court of housewives, okay? And then over here, it's like, even if she did like you, her brother is going to take priority. Why would you even make that comment to begin with? But I get you were drunk. So at the end of the day, I feel like just like most of the storylines for this season, like Rachel and Danielle or Rachel and Jennifer Aiden, I feel like we're beating a dead horse and this is not that big of a deal. I agree. I think it's kind of a bummer that we're focusing on so many little things that happen throughout the season at this reunion when there's clearly some big issues that need to be talked about. Like, I also think about, like, there's some storylines they had no problem moving past. Like, you know, Dolores and Jennifer Aiden had an explosive premiere. I mean, they were literally screaming at each other. Jennifer left the party. Notice they haven't brought that up. Or I think they did very, very briefly, but it was moved along. So, okay, if we're willing to move past certain storylines throughout the season to make up for, you know, other things that are going on, I think we can move past these petty little things that happen throughout the season. Like, I'm just really looking forward to getting to the nitty gritty here. It is very obvious that Louie is a sort of contention. Like there's a lot of problems with Joe and, and Teresa. Like let's get to that. Like let's not focus on these silly little things that have happened throughout the season because they really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. What we really want to know are the big problems that are currently brewing in real time. Yeah. Miriam Gutierrez said Louie's ex-girlfriend, Vanessa's ex-husband has a restraining order against her. He put the restraining order for harassing him and his family, stalking him and other stuff. So it sounds like Louis's ex-girlfriend, Vanessa, has an ex-husband who also has a restraining order. So this just might be something that's running in the family. I am not sure. All right. Yeah. Well, moving on, Andy also asked Margaret where she gets all of her information on everyone. And she swears she does not have any. Um, she went on to explain about her fallout with Laura and what went wrong. And when she was explaining this, I've said this so many times because so many people want me to change my mindset on Margaret Joseph's because of the fallout with Laura. And so many people want me to have Laura on. I have a good relationship with Margaret. I feel this. Margaret is on the show. Laura is not on the show. Margaret tried to get Laura on the show for two seasons in a row, and Laura could not obviously perform to the degree that they wanted in order to make it on the show. So then you become very trifling in the way that you operate 